What is up guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. If you wanna see all of our new inventory every week, please hit that subscribe button. We get new cars in daily. Hit the like button. Appreciate you checking us out. Let's go. Alright guys, 71 Duster, the lady bought it, her and her husband, brand new after their honeymoon, they bought it in Philadelphia, they were driving by, they saw the color, they fell in love with it, they've had it since 71, um, basically been in their family, they took road trips with it, uh, family's going through some uh, personal uh, issues, husband and wife, and they decided to uh, get rid of it, so they gave us a call, we are here now buying it. Uh, it's an original six-cylinder car, inline six-cylinder with factory AC, which is pretty cool. It's in really, really good condition. It's a true survivor, one owner. Like I say in a lot of my videos, everybody makes fun of me. They're like, oh, Rob, you want to keep everything. This is a car I like to keep. It's a one owner. It's hard to find it. Um, however, if you are interested and you'd like to get this out of my collection, let me know. I'm looking for the right buyer on this one. It's a one owner car. I promised the owner that it would go to the right family. Um, originally we thought it was original paint, but the lady did tell us in 92 was painted. And if you look here, you can see a little bit like overspray here. And if you come over here, you can see some of the overspray here. So it does confirm that it was painted at some point in 92. It's got no rod on it, no rust on it. The, what it did have, she said that they did repair it in the 90s. And it's, it's fairly clean. You got a little bubble here. Not even, like a little imperfection here in the paint. Besides that, it's pretty clean. The chrome's got a little pitting here. But the seat's good. It just needs to be wiped off. It's got a, you know, a little bit of mold. We're starting to rain. We want to get this thing out of the rain. Hopefully it doesn't pour too much. But the engine's really clean. It's a shame it's a six cylinder. It would have been awesome if it was like a 318 or 340. But yeah, the car, like, you don't come across cars like this every day where you get an original owner 1971 Duster. Who finds stuff like this? And for us to find this 15 minutes, 10 minutes from our shop, it's absolutely amazing. And we got the original bill of sale. We got the sales contract when her and her husband bought a brand new in 71. It's a well documented car. Let me know what you guys think. Hit, please. Hit the like button and also leave me a comment. Should I keep this car? Do you see any value in it being a one owner? Or do I sell it and keep things moving? I'm in the car business. I can't keep everything. It's a cool car to keep if I do decide to keep it. What do you guys think? Let's go ahead and look inside the trunk too. Quarters are solid on both sides. We do have some rust forming here. I guess from the water sitting, which this will clean up good. It's not too crazy. This just needs a wire brush to it and it should clean up very well. I've seen worse, not terrible. But that's from moisture sitting there. How do you feel that it's gonna be out of the office or out of the garage? <laughs> Now we want to know where all this stuff is. <laughs> Take a look underneath, and if you look under here, this thing is clean. Look, it looks like the quarters are all original. That quarters are fine. I mean, this thing has got a ton of originality. The undercarriage is absolutely amazing. See, this is what happens when you garage keep a car. This thing is super clean. Yes, it's had one repaint before, but I mean, come on. For a one owner, one repaint, this thing is absolutely amazing. Factory AC. This is cool. I mean, the dash is in good shape. They just don't make cars like this anymore. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm so impressed. I look at classic cars every day, and this is so cool. You bought it in 19. June the 4th, 1971. Did you hear that? June 4th, 1971 is when they bought it. You bought it where? First off, Chrysler Clinic on 7800. That's the Harbor Center Boulevard, right? Where's the Boulevard? I don't know. The cross is like 
Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's where the Chevy dealership is, is it now? That it still, still has is? It? I don't know. It's a, well, it's a Chevy dealership now. Okay. But I guess it was uh, Chrysler back then. And you and your husband bought it. Came back from our honeymoon. We needed a car. We were coming down the boulevard and she was sitting on the corner. I said, that's my car. We went in and we purchased it. I bought it for the color. Yeah. You know the name of the Sassy color? Sassy Grass Green. Sassy Grass Green, that's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. uh, he was asking me, what's the name of the color? Yeah. 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 What made you guys do with the six-owner? I don't know. I just liked the car. I didn't even like, care. Green, I just yeah. wanted, to, wanted the color car. Yeah. Yeah, that, this yeah. is not going to be for sale. Really? I'm not going to sell this Did you bring a cover? I didn't bring a cover, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to run, bring it to my shop as soon as I can. I mean, I'm only ten minutes away. Okay. I'm going to get to my shop and it's going right in the garage. Yeah, I'm a little sad too. I feel I feel the, I feel your emotion behind this uh, this car. I totally get it. I bought a, a a lady's car in Bristol. She was the original owner of it. She had her baby in the car. Yeah. 1964. Oh, yeah, in the car. 1964 Chevelle. Okay. And I saw I wind up selling the car, but how the how like like how hard was that for me to sell that car? Yeah, it well, was. We had it for a couple of years. It was hard to get rid of. Well, we always joke is because of the color. Like we hated it when we were kids because yeah. everyone looked at it. But yeah. like now, it's cool. It's like, cool. Now, yeah, that's, that's like, what like the challenges are made of now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like right. it's come, yeah, it's come back. But I know we always used to be like. Yeah. They hated the hiding in it, but. Mm. All right, guys. This is it. 1971 Duster. It's got the inline six. One owner, we got all documentation of it, we got the original bill of sale, we have everything. Well that's the plan, I'm going to get it back to my shop, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to get it running and driving the way it should. I'm lost for words, I don't know what to say. I'm really lost for words, I'm, I'm normally not lost for words, but it's like, it's a, this thing's like a time capsule. It is really, really clean. I wish it had the V8 in it. If it had the V8 in it, it would be a whole different ball game. Yeah. Probably get triple what, what we're, we agreed upon. Especially if it had like a 340 in it. I mean, I don't know much about cars. But <laughs> 340 is like one of the best engines for it, or um, 318 is a little V8. But oh, 440? Uh, these didn't come with a 440. Mm -hmm. Maybe they had one in there. If it was a, if they had 340s, that's for sure. 340 with a four-speed on the floor, mm -hmm. a shifter. You could race them and stuff and have fun with them. But the car probably wouldn't have made it in this good condition. Yeah, like we use that like learning the parallel park and stuff. That was like a boat. <laughs> you took your driver's license test in this? Not the test, but okay. like we would practice, practice. Like, in here in that parking lot. And we have four this guys. This is the original sales contract when they bought it, 6-4-1971. Do you have a pen you can grab for me? Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> but this is cool. It's a very, very cool deal. Tell me your best memory in it. Best memory. Oh yeah. man. I don't know. I guess all the trips together. Where'd family. you take it at? All over? The first real long trip we went to Florida because we got it. We had just come back from Florida in the following year and we got stopped in Georgia. And I think he because of the color of the car. Yeah. Because <laughs> he only gave us a warning. <laughs> okay, Val, are you going to sign right here for me? Right on that line. We'll get it up. We'll get it loaded for you guys and get out of here and be on our way. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right, boys. Put that in the car for us. Sure. Perfect car for you. If you're interested in this car, I want to find the right owner for it. I promised the lady that I would get this into good hands. And yes, I do. I am concerned about who gets it. For me, it's, it's not just about money. I say this in all our videos. I don't want to just buy a car and just flip it. It's about finding the right owner. This is a piece of American history. This was a part of the family. Uh, husband and wife bought it brand new. It was on their honeymoon, and now they're having problems. They divorced, and the car had to go. It was like their baby. So, you gotta find the right home for it. What do you guys think? This thing is amazing. In my opinion, I think it's one of the cleanest uh, dusters I've ever bought, especially being one owner sitting in the garage. This is like uh, stuff you see on TV. Well, this is TV for me. I'm living the dream. This is crazy.
If you are over 65 years old, I want you to leave me a comment. What are you going to do in the next five years of your life? Are you just going to chill? Are you just going to sit back and relax? Or are you going to keep going forward in life? It's not too old, it's never old. You can be old as you want, but that doesn't mean anything. Tow truck's here. That's Ray with Langhorn Towing. Absolutely amazing. He always comes out and does my recovery when I can't get it. He's seen a lot of cool cars with me. He's a good guy.